There's a story to be told. It's not so long, tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly. Die. Hello! Hello, my friends! Are you there? Are you there? Oh, it's so good to see you! Yeah, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, what, what's that? I can't hear you! Oh, start, just, just one second! Just one second! Slippy! Slippy! Yeah, I see you! Just one, sorry, one second, okay? Slippy! I'll be right back! Slippy! Slippy! You need to stop ringing those bells! No, I mean it! I know you like them! Please! Please! Alright, put them down! Thank you! I'm trying to talk to my friends! Okay, one second. I'm so sorry, my friends! I had slip, slip, slippy, slippy really, really had liked the jingle bells a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I really like the jingle bells. Do, do, do you like jingle bells? Wow, you do? That's great. Yeah, do you know, I thought it'd be really neat to wear the jingle bells out in the field today, do you know? But not, not sure it was the best idea. No, no, I wasn't. I was happily skipping across the field, you know, and, and I frightened a group of ladies who, who then, who were grazing near the gates and they were so startled. They were so startled that they burst through the gate. Yeah, and, and that wasn't the words of it, though. No, Farmer Murphy was on the other side, and, and, and he ran straight into Mrs. Murphy. Yeah, he did. And that's, that caused a big catastrophe. Cata catastrophe, yeah. Because Mrs. Murphy, she was coming out in her brand new Christmas dress. Yeah, very tragic. Yeah, so needless to say, I'm not allowed to wear jingle bells in the field. Nope. So, do you know what month this is? Yes, December! It's so exciting, yeah. My daddy lets me flip the calendar every year from November to December. Yes, and when it does, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I love Christmas music. Do you like Christmas music? Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I heard someone say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's a good one. Yeah. What's that? <gasps> jingle bells. I like jingle bells a lot. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I like to dance around, dance around. I do, I do. Yeah. Anyways. One of the other things I like about Christmas is giving. Mm -hmm. Do you like to give gifts at Christmas time? You too? Great! I love to see people's faces when they unwrap my gifts. However, I wasn't always this way. No. I, I was sort of a selfish person. Yeah. And being selfish is like one who cares only for yourself and not really thinking of others. I, I also rarely thought of buying or making gifts for other people, even my mommy and daddy. I remember one time years ago, my daddy asked me what I wanted to get money for Christmas. I said I didn't know. And then I asked him if he wanted to see my list of gifts I wanted. He looked at me with sad eyes. Yeah. I thought he might be thinking my, my list was too short. So I told him that I would make my list longer if he thought it might be a better idea. Nope. Not a good idea. Daddy asked me a very hard question. He asked me if I thought of anyone else other than myself. Do you know why I really had to think about that? 
the other, the other answer that came to my mind was Tony Stalking. I couldn't think of anyone else I thought of more. I couldn't believe it. I thought of myself more than anyone else. So I just, I was so sad I hung my head in shame. He then, he then took out the family Bible, you know? And he asked me to turn to 1 Corinthians 9, 7. He told me to read it out loud. This is what the verse says. I can never forget it. It says each person, could be me, could be you, each person should give what they've decided in their heart to give, not reluctantly or under force, for God loves a cheerful giver. Yay! My daddy then explained to me that God loves it when we give out the goodness of our hearts. He said that God gives us so much every day, especially his love, which is 100% good, from the love that God gives us, and we should want to give it away to others. And the love we give can also be in the form of giving gifts. Daddy asked me to think about it for a bit and then come to talk to him. I didn't take too long, though, because I knew I was not a giving person, and I needed to change. I couldn't believe I was that selfish. I love God, and I love Mommy and Daddy. Mm -hmm. I went and found Daddy, and I told him that I was so sorry for being so selfish, and that I wanted to be a cheerful giver. He smiled, gave me a big hug. <laughs> he helped me pray and asked God to help me be a cheerful giver. And then we started making a list of things we could give Mommy. My heart changed that day, and I have never looked back. I love seeing people smile when they receive and open my gifts. Do you like giving gifts? Yeah? Are you a cheerful giver? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. It's not too hard, if you're not. Just ask God, like I did, to help you decide in your heart that you want to be a cheerful giver. Yay! Well, I got to get going, you know. I need to start wrapping some of my gifts I have to giving away this year. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, it was so good to see you, my friends. So good. We'll be talking later, okay? Okay, bye bye! Bye bye! Do, 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 do. There's a story to be told. It's not so long, tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly die. Tee diddly die. Tee diddly. Die. Die. <laughs> <laughs>